everyone, it's Amanda the OT. Today I'm going to show you a fun way that we can use a lot of different textures and materials to paint with. So this is going to be fun for working on fine motor skills while also getting a lot of different sensory tactile input. So obviously a great thing to use is a paintbrush when we're painting. And I just have a plate here with some paints and you definitely want to use washable paints with kiddos or even finger paints because it's always inevitable that it gets on their hands or sometimes their clothes. So we want to make sure that it's washable. So you can just use a paintbrush and of course that's a great way to paint. Some other things that I like to use is a plastic fork. So this is a fun way to learn how to paint lines. So you can go across and it's just a different feel, a different look, a different sensory experience. So kids can have a lot of fun painting lines with a fork. Another thing that you can use is cotton balls. And these you can almost use like a stamp. So you put some paint and then it makes a different kind of shape. And of course the texture of the cotton ball is a new sensory experience to paint with. Another thing you can use is a Q-tip. Q-tips are great for working on fine motor skills because they're skinny so the kiddos have to use their fingertips to control. So Q-tips work great. Another thing you can even use is just some crumpled up paper. So again, we're gonna use it like a stamp and see what different kinds of shapes you make depending on how the paper is crinkled. So you can use a couple different kinds and see what different kind of pictures come out when we stamp it. And then the last thing is something similar is actually tin foil. So I've just taken some sheets of tin foil and crumpled them up. And again, this is a new textural experience for our fingers. And it's also a fun way to see what kind of patterns come out. So it's some abstract art, but it's working on those fine motor skills, that pincer grasp. And it's just a lot of fun to touch all these different materials, textures, and to be able to see what kind of different pictures they put onto our paper. So if you think of any other fun textures and materials to use, let me know. I hope you have a lot of fun painting with all of these different things, and enjoy!